Well, the price of oil pushing to new heights today. It hit $112 a barrel around lunchtime. It was $109 yesterday. And that comes just a couple of days after President Obama's remarks suggesting that Americans who are complaining about these numbers should consider getting rid of their SUVs. Take a listen. Increase efficiency on cars and trucks, which is where most of our oil is used. Now, I noticed some folks clapped, but I know some of these big guys, they're all still driving their big SUVs. You know, they got their big monster trucks and everything. You're one of them? Well, now, here's my point. You know, if, if you're complaining about the price of gas and you're only getting eight miles a gallon, you know, well, I, I, you may have a big family, but it's probably not that big. <laughs> so how many you have? Ten kids, you said? Ten kids? Well, you definitely need a hybrid van then. <laughs> he got you there, Mr. President. <laughs> Joining me now, Nancy Skinner, syndicated radio talk show host and Ben Ferguson, host of The Ben Ferguson Show. <laughs> now, that was funny. It, that was funny. And the president had a laugh, too. But, by the way, I, I, I read that if you want a hybrid van, you have to fly to Japan to buy one of those. So that's not particularly yeah. helpful for that man in, in Philadelphia. But, Ben, you know, it's funny, and it was sort of a light moment, but, but there's been a lot of criticism about the exchange because some people are saying it's actually no laughing matter. And, and it reflects an attitude by President Obama of sort of blaming the consumers as opposed to blaming what people believe, some people, particularly on the right, are his own policies. Well, I, I think you look at this president. This president has wanted high gas prices. Look at who he appointed energy secretary. The guy was quoting the Wall Street Journal last year as saying, we have to figure out how to make gas prices go up so that people be forced to alternative energy. And that's exactly what this president wants. He likes these high gas prices because then he can pour, push his issue, his green issue, and say, hey, now these prices are a little bit more competitive for alternative energy, which I'm telling you, you're forcing on you. And this is forcing an ideology on people that they can't afford right now. Four dollar gallon gasoline, the president should be saying, I will do everything I can to stop it. And this president's actually saying, Go for the alternative because I like the price where they are, and it's uh, bad for America. I don't know, Nancy. I mean, Ben accurately quotes what the energy secretary said prior to becoming energy secretary about how we got to hike up the, the gas prices. But, but President Obama likes the high gas prices. There was just a report out the other day saying the White House is obsessing over these oil numbers because they're very worried about how they're going to play politically. Right, right with the economy. Uh, as well, that obviously we know that we're just coming out of this terrible recession, so the high gas prices do exactly that. I do find it interesting, though, that the guy has got 10 kids. I'm wondering how he feels about the Planned Parenthood government shutdown issue. I, I, think, uh, and he, he has two, he, I think the guy, <laughs> two, the guy doesn't know anything about birth control. He does, he's not worried about Planned two, Parenthood. Apparently not. So my point to us, uh, the president is to say he wants it because he wants people to suffer. What he is saying is that we, we and, I, and I think there is bipartisan support on this. We do need an energy policy that makes us less dependent on the the global price of oil, which is where it right, is right, right. But, 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 but like the focus but, but is, the but, thing, why, but why turn it, it around on the consumer and say you people driving the SUVs? You know, because correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, you got a small car, you're probably worried about four dollar a gallon gas too. But they're just not, it's just not, the, uh, the, there are new alternatives now. The federal government has worked with the auto industry here. I, I'm in Detroit. Now, the biggest selling cars were the, 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 uh, the, the Chevy Cruze and the Ford Fusion. These get 45 miles They're not. The, the SUVs are they still are the biggest coming selling out cars larger in America. Models. I'm sorry. Well, he Nancy, seems to be Nancy, suggesting, Nancy, Ben, Nancy. that you how have many, an obligation many... not to buy the SUV, or if you have an SUV, no. to, turn it, to turn it in and find and, something and, else. And that's a him hybrid pushing maybe. his ideal... That's him pushing his ideological viewpoint on the American consumers. Look at the president. He shut down drilling after the BP oil spill. Understandable. I'm okay with that. But then he lifts the moratorium. However, the United States government's given out one permit because the White House said we don't want any drilling there. He obviously does not want to drill here. It's he doesn't true. want to lower They've the prices here. And he wants permits. a Chevy Volt permits. to force Nancy and I to buy it. And I'm not buying it. What about that, Nancy? Because even when he was running for president, remember he got in some hot water because he made a similar comment back then when he said something. I've, I've got a uh, partial quote here. He's talking about we, we can't drive our SUVs and eat as much as we want and keep our homes on 72 degrees all the time and then just expect that other countries are going to say, OK, I think it was in the context of trying to get other countries on board in terms of, um, you know, uh, clean, clean air and, and carbon emissions. But climate change, he, 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 but he keeps focusing on the people who drive the SUVs. Meantime, you can see the pictures of President Obama 
before he became Getting president, he was driving a Chrysler day. 300C with right. a V8 engine and a 17 mile per, uh, Here, per gallon. Here's in the what city. he's talking about. Here's what we're talking about, is that the Germans and the Chinese are, are kicking our butts in terms of technological advancement. The Chinese invested $52 billion uh, in green technologies, the Germans as well, that we can do better. With, uh, the Japanese are... Nancy, in China, you can only have one Nancy, child. I'm in this favor, country, that guy's got I, ten. And, and well, here's look, the thing. The, the president of the United States Germany, of America, I'm in Japan, favor... Let me, let me just finish. If we can be more efficient, if we can use technology, which the Chevy Volts, if, if we had the infrastructure so that it would... Do you own one? Dollars Wait, let her finish, and then I'll, I'll the give you the last 20, word, Ben. Yeah, 25 uh, percent of all of our filling stations with hydrogen fuel. If we can advance and be more efficient <laughs> with technology and we have green jobs, why not? What's wrong with that, Ben? What is this... I, I, I'm sorry. What are we? What are we pushing God forty years ahead? But you want it right, right now. now let, not, let, me, let me make this very clear, Nancy. You cannot, the average American right now, with still very high unemployment, with four dollar a gallon gas, it's still cheaper to put gas in my car than to buy an electric car. Which right now, in average America, whether it be Detroit or Tennessee or Arkansas or even Virginia or Washington D.C., you can't fill those things up. We don't have hydrogen gas stations. So you're talking about futuristic problems. And Small right now the problem Confusion. Americans care about is the price of gas, and that's it. A hundred ninety-nine dollar lease uh, for Ford Fusions that could fit forty-five miles to the. Do gallon you own right one? I, do you own one? They're, they're, what do you are drive? now here. I'm getting. What the do you Volt. drive? I'm in line for the Chevy Volt. No, not what are you I'm getting? Going all what the do way. you drive? That's my dream car. What do you drive right now? now you don't have a Volt. A Chrysler Sebring, okay. And, and okay. I'm waiting and, for a Chevy And my Volt. point is, you're not going to a little small car. You want a car with four doors that can protect you if you're in an accident. That's what you're driving. That's what I drive. I drive it's a manual sedan. transmission, but I'm not putting myself in a smart car, so when I get hit, I lose. And most Americans want the same thing without the president forcing them to buy something that has an electric plug to it that costs $40,000. All right, guys. I've got to leave it at that. They're I got, offering I leave it at consumers' that. choices, so we don't go to war for Listen, oil, Ben. I, yeah, don't I force have, them to don't I, force I, them I'm a car they don't two kids, drive. and I, I confess I drive an SUV. I don't feel guilty about it. Should I? Hey, good for you. I Protect your family. You should do it. Kelly at FoxNews.com. Guys, thanks. All the best. Thanks.